I could just interject on this. Given this campaign season, and also what you can say, see on Twitter, if you look for it, do you think public speech is now evolving to become less polite it's, in America? Yeah, it, it's possible. Um, that uh, I don't think that um, um, that Trumpism has uh, shows that our attitudes have changed, that, that we're becoming more um, misogynistic or, or uh, racist or um, but um, and and uh, you can do some Google searches that are uh, kind of quicker than Gallup or Pew polls to track some of these changes. Seth Stevens uh, Davidowitz has shown that, uh, for example. Uh, if, if you Google for various uh, racist or sexist terms that are used in jokes, you get a pretty good barometer of, uh, of, of um, racism that people may not be willing to admit to in public. Mm -hmm. And um, if, you, uh, if you do that, you don't see a sudden U-turn in the popularity of racist jokes in the last, uh, say, six months. So I think it is more a question of people who uh, kind of kept their attitudes to themselves now feeling that there is, uh, that, that they're allowed to get away with it, that some of the taboos have been broken. Whether they will um, reassert themselves uh, with, the, uh, with the decline of, 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 of Trump, uh, we don't know. I, I kind of hope so. I think that it, there is a benign taboo against um, uh, overtly racist and misogynistic and homophobic language. Uh, that there are ugly attitudes that, uh, that, and there always will be, um, and that there is a kind of benevolent uh, hypocrisy and taboo where there are certain things that you just don't say in public because that does kind of legitimate them. Um, they can be threatened. We saw that with taboo words for sexuality uh, starting in the, in the 60s, um, that words that you just could not say in print or on, uh, on the airwaves are now uh, common. Um, that could happen with racist and, and homophobic terms. You know, I hope not, and too early to tell. 